Hey guys, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, where we're playing as France. It's France! And we've only surrendered two wars. Take from that what you will. Uh, Sweden's got the end of religious turmoil. We're actually alright, like, we've got no revolts, even though we've got... Ah, we've got over 100% religious unity. Even though we've got, like, six places that are, uh, that are Protestant as opposed to being a Catholic, the way they should be. Where's Orléans? Yeah, we're still making, like, a ridiculous amount of money from them, so... GG. These places are getting sieged to hell. Uh, we discovered that Bohemia has cancelled the military access. That's fine, I do not care. Do not care for Bohemia. We've got three colonies, two colonies about to be finished. How, how's this one looking? Uh, recall the guy from Provence? Excuse me? Why did Provence not love us a hundred? Oh. Shit. I don't know if we offer them an alliance that'll uh, boost it to 94. And... I do not want a royal marriage from them. Oh yeah, actually I can get a royal marriage. Yeah, that's fine. Get the three prestige. Austria's got a 69 army. We can have up to 69. Yeah, yeah, we've got too many diplomatic relations, so I want to... Uh, break the royal ties, we'll lose nothing because of the Curia controller. And then we will dissolve the alliance. So what I also want is a white tape Barbados. Barbados! They have 1500 men in Barbados. Let's just bump this up for a couple of months. There we go, St. Kitts has become self sustaining. Trinidad's got six, Guinea's got three, so let's send these guys to Trinidad. Two thousand five hundred. Right, let's transport him over. Who's Protestant now? Champagne is now Protestant. Jeez. Up here, move you to Guadalupe. Oh no. Okay, and then move you guys onto the boats. And then move you guys down into Trinidad. There we go. There we are. Sorted. Now... Huh. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, huh, we can have that up there, but we can't. Because there's two colonies that haven't arrived yet. Uh, Provence, let's dissolve the alliance. Yes. Like I said, it doesn't matter if we've dissolved the alliance and all of that with them. Because they're threatened by us, so... It's fine. And they're tiny. I don't really care. So we could protect against Austria. Austria's only got 63,000 men. What happened to Austria? English peasants. have taken their... Do you dare come into Perigord? I'll have to put you down. Ugh. Right, let's bump this right back up. And... Let's grab these guys. I mean, we could create the army and...
Um, we could create the army for that mission, but I really don't want to. So how are you doing, England? We have an alliance with all these people, but yeah, I still got a fucking truce with them. That's really annoying. The truces take so long. 1523. That'll soon be up. We'll be able to grab Portugal. Castile still rivaled with us. They're allied with Portugal, etc. So. We're still in a fucking region, Regency Council. I forgot all about that. God. 232. Two. We're actually better beating the Regency Council. This fucking kid shit. What's this doing? England's transfer. What? England are transferring trade power to Austria. That's crazy. Proper fleet. Oh, Hungary is requested that we come aid against Lithuania, Poland, Genoa. Who are your allies apart from me? Teutons, Provence, and Savoy. Sure, I'll join your war. Means I get to raise war taxes. Cessation of church functions, we'll get a load of money and some people influence. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> a load of money and people influence. Oh, they moved in on that. Let's drop that down a bit. Oh, but they do have literally no fucking morale. There we go. Yeah, it looks like Hungary might have this one. Teutons are tiny. Oh, that was a bad move. Oh, maybe not. No, it wasn't. Nice. Ostprussen. Yeah, it just reminds me of my Sweden playthrough. It's great. Switzerland's cancelled military access. Guadalupe has become self sustaining. Awesome! That means I can come up here and pick up the guys from Guadalupe and move them down into Cumania. Like, you want to go, you want to go west in South America because the East's got like fuck all in it. North America's pretty useless as well, to be fair. Oh, we want to, uh, to send this guy. There we go. Sorted. Just dock these here at Trinidad. Altmans have announced France as a new rival. Thanks, Altmans. I tried to be your friend, you bastards. Yeah, yeah, we've got low maintenance and we're at war. But, like I've said, I'm not going to participate in this war at all. Huh. It looks like, uh, England's rebels are being swiftly put down. That's a shame. That is a shame. Oh, it looks like we're going to win this war without having to actually do anything. Win that battle of Kumana, even though we've got low maintenance. Ah, oh, what technology can we get? Extra colonial range, naval maintenance, morale, etc, etc. Yeah, let's just go for it. Because, yeah, I was going to say it's at level 10. I was going to say I'm sure we get an extra global settler increase. It's at level 10 we get. Global settler increase plus 10. So that's what we're aiming for. And we'll be able to get an extra merchant as well, which will be nice. And then there's more global settler increase. Yeah! And our diplo relation will be ideal. Ah, Trinidad have lost some ferocity. 
What's that? Fort defense plus 30%. Nice. Next tech, we'll get an extra merchant. There we are. How's this looking? Yeah, it's still plus 80%. Merchant's plus one, yay. Will he get automatically assigned or... Nope, he's free. So let's send him to... Total value of the trade node. Sort of by trade power. Send this guy to transfer. There you go. Aragon's cancel military access that we gave them. Castilian Brazil. Ooh. Is this Castilian Brazil now? Ah, it is. Need at least 5,000 liberty desire to declare war on their overlord. As far as I recall, it's like impossible to find people's liberty desire. It's a nightmare. Ooh, colonize Connect Connecticut? We're getting colonial enthusiasm. Can we see Connecticut? Yes, we can. So if I recall this guy from Barbados and send him to Connecticut. As soon as he arrives, I'll be able to recall him and send him to Barbados. Whilst I claim on Trent. Just claims. We could build some buildings, but I don't really fancy it right now. We're uh, trying to save our money because this is costing us a lot. So as soon as he's in Connecticut, we'll send uh, the other guy out. Magdeburg's cancelled their military access. Actually, we should build some temples over here. The places that don't have them. Oh, that's 115 there. And then we should build some uh, constables as well, which will give us a lower local revolt risk, because we don't want a revolt on those islands. That would just be a fucking nightmare. How much money do these things bring in? Ah, three base tax. Not nothing fantastic. Four base tax, three base tax, yeah. The Caribbean's got such high base tax. So I'll wait to get there. 5.2, 5.2, 6 6.8. St. Kitts got, what have you got St. Kitts? 6.4. Barbados, oh that's not telling me. So yeah, 40 years are pretty decent speed that we're getting so far. Connecticut's a 5 as well, that's pretty decent. Provence is no longer transferring trade power to Tuscany. How's this war going? Fine. I don't know what's happening here. There must be a battle or something. Oh, Teutonic Order's got disorder. Pardonate's cancelled. England declared war on Cornwall. You scumbags, England. Hey, we've got colonial enthusiasm. So, uh, recall that guy. 65 a year, man. He's badass. Yes, the savages have destroyed it. Hmm. I've only got one fucking troop here, Portugal. Where have you sent them all? Must be over here fighting. Six down here. Oh, you get war. Yeah, you get war in Morocco. Alright, fair enough. Well, that's a shame that, um. Ooh. They've got nationalists down here. 
Hey, you two back on Barbados. Barbados. That's pretty good that they've got nationalists down here. It means that I might be able to support some nationalists. Oh, it's Nav Navarre and Guyenne. That's right, it's not for us. Ah. Anyway guys, we're going to call it an episode here, so as always, thanks a lot for watching and do remember to drop a like if you enjoyed the episode and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more European Universalis 4. Nice watching guys and I'll see you next time.